Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about going back down to New Orleans, that Louisiana flavor. Cajun fried rice, I think we've got a good one. Quick rundown on the ingredients. This is kind of like the method behind the madness, whatever you want to call it. All right, we've got the holy trinity. We've got onion, bell pepper, and celery. Got a little green onion on the side. May not be traditional, but I love my okra. It's okra season. It's growing like crazy. We're throwing it in there. Got some Cajun andouille sausage, some shrimp, some good old garlic. Got some Creole seasoning right here. It's kind of like the tamer version of that paya seasoning. Got to be careful of that spice for the wife. Last but not least, let's look at this rice. I'll show you how to make it. All right, we got a rice cooker set up, and this is how we're going to do it. You guys show some love for my big man, Jason. You know that paella seasoning hits with a punch, pun intended. Got a little kick to the back to it, right? So we got two cups of rice. I'm gonna go with one tablespoon, just scattered around. Four cups of water. You guys can add chicken stock, vegetable stock, beef stock, shrimp stock, ham stock, any stock you want to. One tablespoon of bouillon. And last, about a good tablespoon of butter. We're just gonna turn it on, let us do its thing. Now this is the key. This is how you do really good fried rice on the griddle. After this is cooked, you wanna put it like on a sheet pan or in a big bowl, fluff it up, get a lot of air into it, let it cool down. You put it in a refrigerator, it's best served the next day, and that's what we're doing. Quickly, I'm gonna use half an onion, a whole bell pepper, two stalks of celery, and I'm gonna slice my okra. The amount of vegetables that you put in your fried rice is completely up to you. That's what we're going with. I'm gonna get those cut up real quick. Now that our vegetables cut up, just to let you know, uh, we did uh, two cups of rice, four cups of water. We could easily done half the pack of sausage, but I'm going heavy on protein, so we're gonna do all the shrimp, all the sausage, and get that going. One thing about the rice I do wanna mention, I think we mentioned earlier, but I just want to clarify. When, once you make your rice, you want to make it way ahead of time, right? The best thing to do is the day before. Uh, have it refrigerated overnight, something like that to cool the starches back down. Because once you start frying it, you can overcook your rice in a hurry. And that's why a lot of people have problems with sticky rice or the starch sticking to their flat top. Okay. Like I said, that Creole seasoning that I like. Toss these up really good. This is all that natural juice that was stalled out in the shrimp. I'm saving it because all that's flavor, okay? So the shrimp was frozen yep. and then we thawed it in the refrigerator. That's right. Put a little some garlic in there, maybe about a tablespoon. Go ahead and do it now. All right, now we've got everything together. It's all gonna come together really, really quick. We're gonna start on our vegetables. I'm gonna start my sausage off in that butter. smell it already. Did you see that? I That's did. Like air hockey. You better watch your hands. I just want the flavor of the sausage to come through. See how my butter's changing colors? You see that? Yep. It's about building flavor. You don't want to overcook your sausage. Bell pepper, okra, onion, and celery. Leave the leaves on on your celery, it's flavor. Look at all the flavor, see that? See how your sausage is leaking all that grease? Keep it. Look at that. Don't wipe that stuff away. A little bit more butter. Here comes your rice.
This is probably going to the extreme. If you want to add all this to your flat top right now, you can. I like the idea of individual pieces. I like the idea of the shrimp building crust and then adding that juice later. I'll show you. See that crust? That's what I'm talking about. You ready? Got it. A shrimp now. We're gonna have more jambalaya in our grease pot than we are here. Let me show you a quick tip. You see where those shrimp stuck? That's all that flavor. Bring it up with it. Right when you're about to plate it and serve it, hit it with some tossed green onion just to open up those flavors. And there you go. There you go. Hey, I just wanted to reiterate something real quick. Man, this thing could have went a thousand different ways. Anything from like crawfish tails. You can add tomatoes for your Creole. Um, you could substitute, you could add chicken. You could substitute the sauce, whatever you want to do. Oh, you could add like red beans. You like can make it as spicy as you want to, right? That's the point of cooking. So this is what we came up with. I don't know about you, but I've taken a couple bites off camera and it almost makes me speak Creole. I don't even know if I can, but the gibberish that came out of my mouth was X-rated. And it's time to bring her back out. Use your favorite hot sauce. I'm using mine. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Which Serve is? Serve that up with a side of fried catfish. Valentina. Speechless. You should have heard me earlier. It's got a kick to it. Mm. Mm. The sausage, the shrimp, mm. the rice, that paya. I'm telling you, that paya will knock you out. Mm. 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 That is good. Who is a little spicy? <laughs> Last but not least, the end. Hey. If you guys are interested, we have a join button. Check it out down below. Also, find us on The Griddle Group on Facebook. What are you guys making? What are you guys doing? It's building. It's growing. It's going like this. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. Share it with friends. If you know, you know. And this is no one. Peace.